Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. I am using Reyna, though the paths are pretty much the same, so it doesn't really matter. I was just doing that to show you guys some little bit of variety in terms of the character combinations I'll be using in battle. Uh, so we're, we did part of the dungeon in the last episode. This time we're going to head down here. Uh, that was the spot I said I'd meet you back at where we blew up the hole in the wall. Here we get a hyper ball, and I believe... Of course, there's stuff in the way. But I believe there's somewhere else we can uh, activate another bomb. Oh yeah, those shield guys are the ones I was thinking of last time. They can drop both fine shields and ori calcum. And they have very low HP, but they have big shields so they don't get hit very often. So magic's a good way of dealing with them. One of the rare times that you want to use magic. That was close. Another fine shield. Sweet. Not that I need them, but they're there. Ah, there it is. Thought there was one around here somewhere. Most of these don't open up additional uh, treasure. In fact, I think it's only the one, but... I'm going to blow them all up just the same, just to be 100% sure that I'm not missing out on anything. Get a diamond, and we want to head to the right first. This leads to a dead end. There's a, a forked path leads to three different dead ends. There's one of them. A peep half. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned that the peep status is basically the dizzy status in this game. So yeah, you can, uh, what you use is it, I, I think it prevents you from, or it reduces the amount of time you spend stunned. It's not really worthwhile using. I never do for it. I would guess that's fire elemental with him, that breath attack he's got, but I don't know. Do note that that cart moving on the screen can deal damage, I think. At least I think it can. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. If it does, it's negligible. Blow it up! Blow all the things up! That did more damage to me. Yay! I don't think that actually gets me access to anything, though. Oh, well. Down here, there should be another path leading to more treasure. Most of which is not very useful. Now that we've gotten our really good accessories, most of the stuff that we can find is pretty well junk, including peep peep bombs. Okay, that looks, I believe that's all there is in here. Yes, just the two treasure chests. Okay, now we can head back, go along the main path again. It's a little offshoot area. Some of the longer fights I'll try and cut out just because I know it's boring just watching that kind of stuff over and over again. Just watch somebody spend the entire video in battle. There's another one there. Spring water. That's an important one to remember to grab if you don't have any yet. Let's fight. Ready, Gyoro. Well, that's not a long battle. That's me going like this, and I win. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. There is, I think, one new enemy in here that I haven't shown off yet from uh, what I did off screen. <laughs> So hopefully I can run into that one before too long. This is another palette swap enemy we've already seen uh, some of before. Okay, there's a blackberry. And I think, is it? There it is. Okay. So there's a green barrel. Now we want to head up to the left. Okay, that battle was longer than it needed to uh, be, but I did learn some important skills. Well, one important skill and one decent one. Uh, one, I can uh, change up alley -oop for you for Parabola Beam. It's not really the best thing in the world, but uh, it hits from a range, kind of like uh, alley -oop does, and it's different, so we'll put that on. But more importantly, we finally learned Ripper Blast. This skill is something that you may look over the first time you play the game if you're not really paying attention and you're just like, oh, you get this around the same time you get another skill, which the other skill looks like it would probably be a really good one. This one's actually one of his most useful, if not his best in the entire game. 
So yeah, we're gonna work on that. Now, I at the end of the last episode, we went over this area. Oh, there's those new enemies that we hadn't shown off yet. So there's tear into pieces. As you can tell, he loves to spam it. Basically, that's Ripper Blast. I don't think it's Earth Elemental at all, but he loves to spam it, and that's actually a very effective way to use it because it tends to stun enemies, and since you can hit so fast with it, then you don't really have anything negative to deal with. So this is why I went down at the bottom uh, out uh, at the end of the last episode there. This is the area we were in, uh, just to let you know that we'd be back there. So we've kind of gone in a bit, bit of a circle here. Okay, there should be... Nope, there's a bomb here. Let's uh, blow this up if I can talk to it. Thank you. Let me guess. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ah, there it is. I knew there was stretch chest around here somewhere. Paralysis check if you don't have any yet. And then we want to head down to the left here. Go buy another one of these and then we'll heal. I don't think this one unlocks anything either. It's probably just the one that we got last time. Yeah, it just cuts your HP right in half. There we go. No harm done. And we got two more chests down here. A sour syrup, which we've gotten before. And some random herb, which is probably junk, because most of them are. Anything worthwhile? We already have those. Yay, garbage. All right, now we'll head back out. Not too much left to this dungeon. It looks pretty big if you look at a map of this area, but it doesn't take all that long to traverse through. Let's fight. Ready, Rurun? Okay, sure. Let's uh, see if... I'm hoping Cressus will use Parabola Beam so we can see what it is. No, she's going to use more mold. Oh, well. I was hoping she would, but I guess not. Well, that was somewhere around 80 points. Yeah, having the uh, fairy rings is just a major lifesaver pretty much going forward so that you can just have your characters spam their attack, uh, their killer moves in battle all the time and level them up and get them stronger. That way you can deal more damage. There's a save point there. There's a treasure chest here containing spring. I don't know why it's in quotations, but this happens with a few items in the game. Uh, let's see. This one is actually pretty important. Uh, doesn't say what it does. I think it heals, like, all party members or something like that. It's actually really good. I, I can't remember what it does because it doesn't say. But uh, it's useful. I think it's it might be in battle, too. Anyway, we will we'll learn later on. We don't need it until later on disc 2, so... Okay, make sure Reyna doesn't get stuck in there because she'll take way more damage than anyone else. Uh, especially from that breath attack, which is really powerful against her. Okay, make sure you're set to use Dispel. That's pretty much all Reyna needs to do most of the time. Still haven't got a good uh, shot about what Parabola Beam actually does, but look at the amount of experience we get here. 3,000, that's ridiculous. Way more experience once we start coming here. We normally had to fight by ourselves in order to get this kind of experience. Okay, so I believe it's up here? There it is. Another Sturm Ring, perfect. All right, and we've already been up there. We got, I believe it's the green barrel item up there. So we've done a circle around the uh, this big room that I had talked about in the previous episode. The enemy. Are you ready? Sure, we'll kill two more enemies. Okay, that's what it looks like, even though you didn't really do anything. The damage is all right. It takes a little too long to build up, but it's all right. There's nothing really wrong with it. All right, save point. Sounds like a good idea. Eventually.
Oh, uh, before going forward, probably a good idea to heal up. Where? There's the blackberries. Good enough. All right, let's go. Weird green rocks. Did we all of a sudden land in Smallville? Yeah, he, he was saying that uh, I found it. Passing marks. What a dick! Yeah, that's pretty much him in a nutshell. That, that's Leon's character. He's a smart aleck, and he's very full of himself. No, he's not cute. He's annoying. And I don't know what it is with characters in this game, but you either get characters that are quite a bit of fun, like Ashton or Presses, who's kind of a bit of a doofus, uh, or you get characters like um, Leon and Diaz, who are just unlikable. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Your pendant. Have they mentioned the pendant yet? I, th I think they mentioned that was the only thing that, um, uh, only thing that was left uh, when she was found. Any evidence that she was uh, had a different mother or something like that. I think that's what they had mentioned. But let's go collect the mineral. Yeah, like I said, he'll just say big sister or big brother, depending on who's the lead character. All right, so we got boss time. I wouldn't worry about this fight at all. They can use elemental stuff. If you have core plates, those, those thunderstorms won't do anything to you because you have defense against them. I think it's like 50%, but either way, if you get hit, you're know with cure all. And that's pretty much the extent of the fight. At this point, we've gotten powerful enough that we're just waiting. There you go, Parable of hit. But yeah, they have quite a bit of HP, but you just don't have to worry about them because you're doing so much damage, you're hitting so often. As long as the AI is not being stupid, you're usually pretty good. Uh, let's... I was going to heal Claude's MP, but... Wee oui, wee! Oui. What are you doing? Okay, I guess they dropped star rubies. Sure, why not? That's fine. I don't know what that means, but okay, sure, Ashton. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens if you actually have Leon in your party for this. But they say he was fighting with us until just now. And yeah, he was hiding. I don't understand, like, it would make sense if they were making him out to be, like, this child who's actually afraid of things and he just doesn't want to admit it. But if he was in the battle, then that doesn't really make any sense. Why would you run away once the battle ended? Even in a book. But you fought it! Like, if you're in your party, I'm pretty sure he fights with you. It's kind of weird, but anyway, whatever. All right, everybody laugh at him. Let's collect the mineral and go. And we collected the energy stone. All right, then. Oh, yeah. She was saying something about it. It's not doing anything now, but it was glowing before, huh? Well, that would make sense. It's the only thing around here that's, you know, large enough in quantity to have had such an effect. Hmm. There you go, Leon. Take your, uh, your energy stone that you're going to get by yourself. Good luck uh, doing that, by the way. Yeah, he, 
Leon can do about five to 600 damage with Black Saber at this point in the game. And maybe if you gave him some magic boosting stuff, he could do up to seven or 800. Considering how much damage we were able to pull out in that last boss fight, do you really think that he's going to be all that useful? No. Okay. I will uh, show you the quick way out, which will go through an area that uh, we didn't, well, part of an area we didn't see before. So you want to go this way. It's still a decent trek out, but because it's so mazy, I'll, uh, I'll show it on screen. Why not? But yeah, just keep going up along the left side here. And then we're going to cut back to the right. Basically that path that I showed off at the end of the last episode. Okay, and just keep heading up now and up to the left. And that'll be your fastest way out here. So we already saw this, got that treasure. The one path that we didn't take before was up here. The sad thing about the amount of damage that uh, what that Leon can probably do is Reyna can equal that with her fists. So yeah, there's the uh, only paths that we didn't take there, and it's Ready, you pretty two. straightforward the there. Your trick back. I believe you get instantly healed after the boss fight too, which which is nice, but not that we really need it. There was a save point right there. Not that we get tense in this game, but... Alright. Now that we've done that, we're basically out. And, well, we'll, uh, we'll show the process of leaving on Reyna's path here. But it's slightly different on Claude's path. Not that it's different based on who your lead character is. It's different based on who you've recruited. Just be aware that that's there. Anyway, with that said, we can ha now head back. Uh, there is something we'll want to do beforehand, and uh, I'll be showing that off. That'll be Claude uh, coming out here of uh, the castle, so I'll have to do the, uh, the dungeon on his path as well. We got the mineral. It's virtually complete. Um, no. No. Probably. Yes, they make you watch that boat scene all over again. No, you couldn't, buddy. Please deliver the minerals to the King of Liqueur as soon as possible. Alright then, we will head back there. But that's pretty much all the time we have for today. The start of the next episode, we'll start uh, with Claude there at the uh, the exit there. So I don't think we'll have enough time to do that whole thing, whole sequence on screen anyway. Or not, not right now anyway. But uh, anyway, we'll cover that one in the next time. And then after that, we will meet you back here after this battle at uh, Black Coor. I win. Yay for fast forward. Anyway, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.